If you send Salesforce list view emails, you've definitely seen the email that I'm showing you on my screen right now, where Salesforce bounces back a list of errors. So these are recipients that have either been a lead or a contact for you that you've sent a Salesforce list view email to that have failed for one reason or another. Today, I'm going to show you how you can clean those up so that your data remains pristine and you're only sending Salesforce list view emails to the people who actually have email addresses that work and are deliverable. I'm Shannon Gregg from Cloud Adoption Solutions, and I welcome you all, especially those of you that watched our video from last year, sending multiple people emails using Salesforce list view emails. So I can show you really quickly today how you can use a Chrome extension to keep your lead and contacts clean as a whistle in Salesforce. Okay, so after you send the Salesforce list email, Salesforce is gonna bounce you something back that says, you've got a list of errors. It shows up as a CSV file. I recommend immediately you open it up and open it as a Google document. This is a Chrome add-on that I'm going to be sharing with you. I'll put it in the description along with the link for last year's video on sending list view emails and you will be able to do a data clean as soon as you send out your list view emails as you remember you can only send up to 200 list view emails at a time but you can send 5,000 a day per org so if you're sending loads and loads of list view emails i implore you to keep your data super clean and this chrome extension is going to help you do it really fast so when you open the sheet from Salesforce, you'll see an entity ID, an email address, the status telling you it wasn't sent, and the error message on why. So you're going to add one field here. That's the first thing you're going to do. And you're going to call your status, whatever you want it to be in your lead path or your contact path. In my org, I call that unqualified. Unqualified is something that I use to say, we're not going to email these people anymore. We have found a reason they're unqualified. I'm not ever deleting the lead or contact data, even if their email address doesn't work, because I like to keep that history in my Salesforce org. All right. So if you call yours unqualified, you're going to call the status unqualified. It's really important that you get the exact word that you want it to be so that it lines up with your lead path or your contact path. For me, when I send list you emails, I always use that filter on the side of the screen to filter out anybody who has a status of unqualified, okay? So make sure you get that word in there spelled exactly right. So the first thing you wanna to do to activate this add-on is click in this little box in between A and one. It's gonna highlight your entire screen so you're capturing all of the data and you're gonna open this Chrome extension. You'll see it's called Salesforce Connector. So the first thing you're going to do is click to enable the add-on. It pops up a little toast message at the bottom that says working. And then you're going to go again really quickly to Salesforce Connector and click open. Now you see on the side of my screen, it pops up the Salesforce Connector. It's looking to make sure that the add-on connection is working. And you're going to follow a quick series of steps that I'm going to show you that will allow you to update these addresses pretty quickly. A lot of times when you're sending lists through emails, you're getting just a load of these depending on how recent your data is. If you're using this as a method to cleanse your data, it's going to work. All right. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to update. You want to make sure that you click update because we are going to insert or update, which a lot of people call upsert, um, this information into our Salesforce org. So these objects are coming from, or these particular records are coming from the lead object for me. So I'm going to type in lead and click that. Again, I want to make sure that it's insert or update so we can get it upserted. So if there's any question whether or not this entity ID exists, it's going to go in there and do that. So it's asking you where the ID column is. We know it's in A. And we want to see the results in column F because that's our first blank column. If you're pulling more information than that, make sure you're checking these. Then you're just going to click next. And you're going to see that this Salesforce connector is going to give you a quick warning. This is because I've named column E status, which is the same name as column C. So it wants to make sure that we're doing the right thing. So you want to click E because this is what the Salesforce connector is going to update for you. It's going to update the status in your lead object on these particular records. All right, let's click execute. It's going to ask you, are you sure you want to upsert? It's saying five because it recognizes five in the Google sheet. 
Of course, we know that first column is just headers, but that is fine. Just go ahead and click upsert. And here we go. You are going to see that this Salesforce connector add-on Chrome extension is going to do this beautiful work for you. Right now, it's connecting to my Salesforce org, which is something that I've done when I first set this up, and it's going to give it this sort of information. Look right here, see how it says updated? That means it was a success. Now we know that that information has been updated and that those four particular entity IDs, those lead records are now marked as unqualified. So the next time I send a list view email, these four are not going to be included in that list, which is exactly what we wanted to do. Now, if you're like me, <laughs> what you'll wanna do here is click file and you're gonna move this one to trash because you're done with it. You're not gonna interact with this anymore, right? So you're all done. That's it. Now you can go back, you can check your Salesforce org, you can look inside of your lead object and look at these particular records and see they're cleaned out now. So you're no longer in danger of being charged for those because as you know, you can send up to 200 list your emails at one time, but only up to 5,000 per day inside of your org. So if you've got 10 people who are BDRs who are sending loads of list you emails, they've got to sort of split those up, right? So you want to keep them clean. You want to make sure you're not getting charged for ones that aren't getting delivered. And we all know pristine data is the goal of anybody who's working inside of CRM. Thank you so much for watching this video. We invite you to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We do release new content on a very regular basis. And if you have any further questions, please feel free to reach out to us at info at cloudadoption.solutions. Thanks so much and happy selling.